Hi everyone, okay, it's the 1st of March. It is the day one of manifesting money in March. Now, this is the complete opposite of frugal February. It is where we stop thinking about like the scarcity um, of money and being tight and frugal and almost like aggressive with money. It's where we just relax. We breathe into the flow of money and we trust in the universe and we remain with an open heart and an open mind in receiving and attracting money. Now, this is a challenge which I did last year and I invented it or it was born out of or created from my uh, just frustration with Frugal February. And I did a little of a trial experiment with this back in um, late December and it was incredible what happened. So these are the 10 rules that I want you to follow. Number one, I want you to be mindful to receiving, saving and earning money. Second thing I want you to do is be mindful of your language. Stop talking about yourself like a victim with money or someone who's really useless with money. I want you to talk to yourself with a sense of empowerment, responsibility and control. Yes, in the past you may have been money, bad with money, I don't care, but right now you're not. You're actually stepping into a far more powerful place and I want you to tell other people that you're doing that and I want you to tell yourself about that. Remember, go watch my money mindset video, really important. The next thing, number three, I want you to rise above pettiness and negativity. When people are talking about how tough it is and how hard it is, or people are being stingy and uh, about money, I just want you to kind of build up an invisible wall of protection so that anything they say that may normally affect you or may, may um, pull you down in your energy source just kind of bounces back off you, back to them. It doesn't actually impact you. And this is something we should all be doing anyway because it really does help our sense of well-being. Number four, I want you to think about what it feels to be like to be wealthy, to not have to worry about money, to actually like know that all your bills are on to paid on time, you've got lots of money sitting in your savings account and you've got a passive income coming in that more than covers your living expenses. I want you to spend at least 10 minutes a day really thinking what that feels like and make sure you're creating that sensation of the feelings within yourself. Rule number five, I want you to say yes to everything. Obviously within reason, like some things obviously are gonna be crazy, but anything you think, you know what, actually, I can do that. I want you to step up and do it. I don't want you to come up with any excuses. I want you to embrace everything that comes your way. Learn to open up the channels and the flow of money so that it can come towards you. Rule number six, I want you to appreciate and acknowledge every little bit of money manifestation and as well as money savings, no matter how small or how big it is. Like me finding a $2 coin on the floor, I stopped, appreciated it, acknowledged it and showed gratitude towards it. I don't care how big it is or how small it is, you show the equal level of appreciation and gratitude towards it. Sounding like Oprah, yes, but we get what we appreciate more of. Rule number seven, I want you to really think about and focus about what you want manifesting March to be about. How much money would you like to create and what you're going to use it for? What is the purpose of that money? Is it to pay off your last credit card debt? It is it to is it to pay off your last student debt? Is it to help finalize the deposit on your home loan? It doesn't matter what it is as long as you can constantly focus, channel all your energy towards it. Now, for me, this is obviously going to be you know uh, the thousand dollar project. All money that I manifest for the month of March is going towards the thousand dollar project. And then the seventh thing that I want you to think about is refusing to conform. Stop going along with the herd mentality, no matter what it might be. Where people talk about the doom and gloom because they're the thing or the, even the quick witch schemes that go on because that is what you know that's like a knee-jerk reaction or following you know the crowd I don't want you to be like that I want you to open up your mind to all the other different ideas and opportunities that exist around us to try and create earn and manifest extra money and when you stop and just relax and open up into the mind uh, into the universe um, you'd be amazed at what ideas and insights and light bulb moments you actually get Rule number nine, I want you to be happy for everyone around you. Your best friend just wins the lottery. Um, your neighbor just got a great new promotion. Your brother just paid off his credit card and student debt. Your um, boss just bought a new family home. That's okay, don't get jealous. Don't get bitter, don't get angry, get inspired. Be happy, genuinely happy for everyone around you and the fortune that they get. Again, it doesn't matter how little or how big, because remember, success is contagious. And then rule number 10, I want you to trust. 
trust in the universe that manifesting money in March is a very powerful process and it may not happen instantly but we are starting to plant some seeds and things are going to be cooking and bubbling and boiling along in the background while we follow all these 10 rules religiously. I want us to be thinking about this every single day. Now, as a quick update on Manifesting March and the $1,000 project, this morning I banked $715.40 into the $1,000 project bank account, um, which is great. That's a really good kickstart off on the $1,000 project round three. Also, um, I'm wearing my Manifesting um, t-shirt, which I got for $14 with some random gift voucher that was on my Country Road account. And I don't really shop at Country Road. Anyway, that's just the universe working. Um, another magical manifesting March thing happened. I got an Airbnb booking um, and I actually got two Airbnb bookings back to back. So I decided, yep, you know what is it is a little bit of a pain in the neck because I've got Rocco and daycare and work and cleaning the house and all of that stuff. But you know what, as I said, I'm saying yes. So I've got two Airbnb bookings, which are going to be a really good helping hand in making uh, the month of March have a good impact in getting ahead on the thousand dollar project. Cause I have a really big goal to achieve. And then another little thing, which I think is really cool, it's actually the coolest of all, um, in the video um, that I am just publishing where I share with you how much money I saved um, from doing Frugal February, I talked about Tupperware containers and how all of my Tupperware containers have gone, they've gone missing. I think Tom has taken them to work and forgotten to bring them home. And I was like, oh, I have to buy some new um, Tupperware containers. Anyway, I was scrolling through Instagram and one of the families that I follow, it's like a frugal family that I follow, um, posted that Woolworths have large like family bulk sets of Tupperware on sale at Woolworths with a half price. And I think for something like $33, you get like all these different shapes and sizes Tupperware containers, which is awesome. I will share the link of that person um, on um, the video description below. Now on that note of Instagram, if you are doing the $1,000 project or you have the $1,000 project book, please like take a photograph on your Instagram account and post it and tag me in it. I will follow you back and in our newsletter, The Sugar Hit, which you get when you subscribe to the Sugar Mama website, we're going to be doing shout outs to people's Instagram accounts of people who are reading the thousand dollar project or doing the thousand dollar project or just stepping up in the world and taking on their financial future more seriously and tagging them. So if you're looking to build your following, make sure you're following me and make sure you're tagging me because I will do as much as I can to help push your own followers because we are a community. We are all connected to each other and together when we share, we care and we help each other raise our bar and we also make it so much easier to raise our bar and experience the sensation of growth. Alright everyone, that is enough energy from me. I have to say, already day one during Manifesting March, my energy levels are out of control. I just did an interview with um, Chris Smith from 2GB and he actually said to me as I was leaving, he's like, you have way too much energy. And I was like, yeah, I may have heard that before as I was like exiting. So, and it was such a great interview to do it with, uh, to speak with him. Amazing. All right. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do. I really hope you enjoy Manifesting March because serious magic is going to be happening and I will be doing vlogs.